Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, welcome back to Live Seller Calls. I am just pumped and ready to go today. Um, definitely days off to a great start. Just going through and getting all my mojo dialer all situated. You know, you can't forget to go back and just prune your hedges or trim your hedges or, you know, go back and just relook at everything. See what's going on. See what's pretty. See what's ugly. See what you need to edit. See if your categories are still accurate. Um, see what your follow-up's got to be done. Now, again, this is follow-up, 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 you know. Um, I made the statement the other day that if I gave you 100 names and you called them meticulously and followed up with them and just crushed those 100, it would almost be better than if you called 1,000 new people every day. Um, and the reason why is because if you just have that mentality of how important follow-up is, it's really going to get you a lot further. Uh, the very first day I called ever, I got a property under contract. Uh, that was two months ago. That contract is still not signed till today. Uh, there's attorneys involved. We got to have some guys sign it. Uh, all some guys to do is sign it. Nothing's difficult. Uh, the guy already agreed to it. He's trying to get his attorney to sign it and fax it over to us. Um, it's crazy. So it's all follow up. We've probably called him 85 times um, in the last two months about random things following up, trying to get a hold of him multiple times a day just to do it. The guy's not one bit annoyed. He's glad we're buying the property. And now his attorney's just dragging his feet. So the fortune's in the follow-up. Don't forget to make it happen and really make sure that you're following up to the fullest with these leads. It is so crucial. All right, let me take a look here. So we're going to get dialed into the dialer, my favorite. And we're going to start calling our leads. If you guys are watching this, say what's up. That was not a valid entry. Feel free you to have any questions. Phone. Please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found in the dialing box on your screen. That was not a valid entry. Using your touchdown phone. I hate phone. It when they do this. Please enter your PIN number. I always make the joke that Mojo Dialer likes to halt your confidence sometimes on the way in by having technology errors. <laughs> They're trying to bring our mindset down, man. We can't let them do that. We can't let them win. Enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found. You are now logged into the Mojo Dialer. You did it. We officially successfully touched the two digits needed to make this happen. All right, this list, we've actually done a great job. This was originally a 100-name list. We're now down to 68 names left on it, which means we've contacted 32% of this entire list already. I believe we've, all, we've only done uh, two or three dials on it. So 32% of the people on this list have been contacted in uh, three dials or less. That is pretty epic. One thing I've noticed, once you reach about 60 to 70% of the list being contacted, pickups really start to dwindle. You have reached 9413833. Three, nine, six, eight. Oh. Oh. All right, 
that's kicks in the butt. Mojo Dollar changed their interface, and it has got me seeing double today. They just took one side of the thing and put it on the other, and it is mind-blowingly confusing. Good trick, Lottery. I'm unable to take your call right now. Please leave your name, brief message, and the time you called, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record. See how we do here. Hello, this is Michael Mitchell. I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beat, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello? Yeah, I'm able to answer the call at the moment. All right, we are seven dials in. Kick in, bud. Hello? Keep in mind this is our third time dialing all the way through. Third or fourth, I'll know here shortly. Exactly. So pickups are going to be less than our normal ratio of 10%. are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. I'm on uh, Facebook Live. Hello. Hello. We are not available now. Please. Yeah. It can happen. I wouldn't do that. Did you Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I may have the wrong number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 39 Schuyler Drive. Thank you. All right, we're calling this guy back. Should be another pickup. If so, there'll be 20 dials, two contacts. Clearing up our ratio.
Uh, we are ten. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right phone number. I'm looking for the owner of 280 College Drive in Edison. I don't know. What's this call about? Hey, my name's Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. And I was just following up, wondering if you've ever considered selling before. The what? As well, I was just calling to follow up to see if you've ever considered selling your property before. Uh, no, right now I have tenants in there. I don't know what they're going for either now. Okay. Is it something that you think you might be interested in uh, down the road? You know, we're not really in a rush. We could close on your timeline or whatever you'd like. No, I don't know. I'll think about it, okay? Thank uh, you. Thank you. We call those not yet interested. Because they will be one day. And look, our pickup ratio is almost back. Two contacts, 27 dials. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Shucks. 31 dials, two contacts, which means we should be having a pickup coming in any second. Just like a package from UPS. We're unavailable to get to the phone right now, so if you leave a message, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hello. Hello, hi. Okay, I'm going to answer your right uh, now. Leave your name and number. We'll me. get back to you as soon as possible and wait for the beep. I wait for no beep. I wait for no one. I wait for nothing. Hello. Hello. Come on. Let's make it happen. Try calling this guy back. What do you think? I think it'll work. Hello. Please leave a message after the. Hello? Okay. Call you later.
good to do a lot of stretching and breathing while I call, especially if it's not a high action day. <sighs> Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. That's what I've been saying. Oh, man. Oh, hey, Kenny. You see if I can bet you. Oh, oh. I did it. Oh, no, that's stretch motivation right there. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the owner of 48... No, I think I said I was sorry to bother you, and she said, okay, then don't. <laughs> Next. Here, Kitty, I'm coming to bet you again. Oh, oh. I'm here. here. Hello? Hello? Hello. No, available to take your call. Please. Hello. Please leave a message after the talk. Sorry, is that your email? Leave a message after the tone. All right, we are total daily dials in is 67. Oh, we just finished your, your calling process. session. Is now complete. All records have been called based on your right. call settings and advanced records. That was a 24 record. pickup ratio, the but this was. To start a new session, please press the OK button. Oh, on so that was our fourth time. The call Calling that last time. <clears throat> Okay, this one also started at 100. Let's see how many we have left to call here. Don't forget to consider the area that you're calling so you can change the number. All right, so we have 64, which means we've contacted 46% of this list already, which is huge. Oh. Those are great ratios. And again, I always 
keep my list at groups of 100. That way, I can do percentages easily. Using your touchtone phone, please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number. You are now logged into the Moto Dialer. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. Hello? Hello, you have reached the phone number for Connie and Jim. Please leave a message. Yeah, I think this is a business. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I was... Hi, you reached the justice. We can't take your. Look at these photos, bro. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Big voicemail day today. 82 dials in, 25 minutes. are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. After the tone. That's voicemail city today. Again, we have contacted, what was it, 46, 36% uh, of this list already. That's some great ratios our first couple times around. You'll find, like I was saying in the beginning of these videos, your first few call throughs, hello, hello, hello. They must have thought I said hang up. So they must have thought I said hang up because they hung up on me. 
Hey, what's going on? All right, we are 91 dials in for the day. Only four pickups. Not available now. Please leave your name until. Hello, kitty ball. She's so she's so well trained during the day now. She's yeah, she doesn't like crawl all over everything anymore. She's been so good recently. Like all the stuff that I like always. Like she doesn't even go to it. She's like, I get it. I got a little bit of shit to play with. You should see her with that big beanie hat of mine. She carries it. All, she'll take it on the bed, take it off the bed, put it on the bed, and it's big. It's bigger than her. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like last night, I felt like this big thing dragging across me, and I was like, what is this? And it's her carrying this freaking huge beanie. Oh my god, it's so funny. Like a pride and joy thing. I think I think it is like a mouse thing, like Alice was yeah. saying. You know, she's like carrying it off. Carrying the kill. Yeah. She killed the bunny. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the light freaking ball of fur. She killed that ball of fur. She killed it dead, too. Yeah. 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 Alright. Hello? We are not available now. Please. Well, I guess if we're looking on the bright side. If nobody really picks up, you get a lot of dials in for the day. It's all about the dials. It's all about the dials. That's right. You're chipping away at those averages. Yeah, low dial. Yeah, dial it away. All right, here we go. Dial. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for uh, a unit 151 at 518 West Kennedy. 518 West Kennedy, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Hi, my name's Nicholas, and my main partner and I, we invest in real estate in the area. I was just following up on a postcard we'd sent to the property, wondering if you'd ever considered selling before? Mm, no, we just bought, so we're not I interested just thought, in selling. I apologize. Well, if you yourself or anything changes or you know anybody, I'd love for you to take down my information. We can uh, pay cash and close pretty quick. No, I'm not interested, but thanks. You're welcome. Crushed it. In six weeks, she's going to be wishing she didn't make that decision. <laughs> Who was that man? Who was that nice man that called me? Watch. Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, uh, 1110 Braxton Court. I'm sorry, do you have a wrong number? All right, thank you. Did you, 
Yeah, right, exactly. So easy to say. That's why sometimes I like to skip over that line. We are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Goodness, I've been thirsty. I don't know if anyone out there is from Phoenix, but there is something in the air. I am a thirst machine recently. I am a thirst machine. We are not available now. Please leave your name. Leave a message and Wizard I will call you back when we're done with either snow, rain, or high wind. Hello? Hello, I do a breach. Double street. All right, we are calling this for the several time. Several made that word up. Available so that's definitely been a big attribution to our uh, contact, which is actually half as much as our average. Uh, currently, it's 5%. We're getting a 5% pickup rate. Um, at 120 dials, and we have six pickups. So it's generally half of uh, what we would normally see. But that's still good. You know, we still got the time to do it. We got to make sure we don't leave one stone unturned. Um, every time we chip away at this list, we're doing our business a huge service. We're also working the numbers. Work in the averages and getting a lot of dials in for the day. I'm at 125, and we are roughly 35 40 minutes in. We are not available. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the owner of 1714 Morris Court. Uh, how can I help you? Hey, my name is Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. I was calling to follow up with a postcard we sent to the property. Have you ever maybe considered selling before? 
Uh, no, thank you. You're welcome. All right, chipped another one off. I'll take it. You will take it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two one five eight five five eight one four six is not available at the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Your calling session oh. is now complete. Crushed it. All records have been called based on your call settings and advanced filters. Now they're less to log down. out of the dialer, simply hang up your phone now. To start a new session, please press the OK button on your screen and follow the prompt to the call wizard. Okay, this we should have some better pick up. We've only contacted 19% of this list. The other one was 36%, so roughly half. We are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hello. Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number today. I'm looking for the owner of 1130 Anders Road. Yes, yeah. Hello. My my number. Yeah, my name's Nicholas, and uh, I invest in real estate in the area. I was calling to follow up with the postcard we sent, wondering if you've maybe ever considered selling before? Um, I haven't really. I mean, I haven't rented out, making, you know, it can come from it free and clear. So, uh, you know, um, probably, and, you know, I mean, I get a, I'm an investor myself, and I get a lot of calls. And, okay. You know, I kind of know how it works, so, sure. you know, definitely not going to be offered anything close to what it's worth. So, uh, yeah, well, you know, what we yeah. generally do is we do about 80 to 85 percent of market is kind of like our sweet spot. Um, now, you did say that you're an investor. Do you also buy in the area? Uh, yeah. Because we do have... In fact, I'll probably... I'm in contract to sell a duplex I have now in Doylestown. I'll probably be looking for a replacement prop, you know, to do this soccer exchange. Yeah, now, uh, what, would you mind giving me some uh, zip code that you like looking in and maybe some kind of properties you like? I do make well, about... Well, you know, I'm, I'm keeping stuff in um, in Bucks County. I, uh, I live basically in the Doylestown area. So, I mean, I've had stuff as far south as Ben Salem and as far north as Allentown, but I don't want to reach out that far anymore. Yeah, gotcha. You said that was Dolestown area? Dolestown, yeah. Perfect. And then, Where are you? And then Bucks County. I'm actually located out of Baskin Ridge, New Jersey. Um, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I'm a little bit away. Yeah, I don't want to go stretch myself out too far. Like I said, I had a place up in Allentown, but that was yeah. like an hour away, and then, um, so. Well, you know, um, what I'll do is yeah. I'll, get, I'll get some zip codes. I do make about 500 calls a day to this area. Uh, so, you know, I would just, we, we've even got a couple under contract right now. I got one house with the tree in it uh, that we just got under contract. Um, you know, uh, so, yeah, you know, but hey, they come dirt cheap, dirt cheap with trees. Uh, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. I just bought a foreclosure in uh, in Dublin. Uh, there wasn't a tree in there, but uh, it uh, you know needed a lot of work. It was an older home, but yeah. So keep me in mind. I mean, if the numbers work, you know, I might be interested. Uh, supposed to be closing on this thing probably in uh, in May sometime. Um, 
So, uh, you know, now, so the deal is like 45 days to name your property. So you kind of under the gun. Right. Okay, so um, now is there a kind of property you like? Do you like single family? Do you like multifamily? Do you like what's your property? Uh, yeah, you know, I used to invest in the multifamilies and then, um, I don't know, now I'm doing, uh, looking more like for flips or, uh, um, yeah, so I would say probably uh, single families. Okay. Okay, and is there like a, a cap rate if it's already rented, uh, an area that you kind of like to live in that I'll know will be a good deal for you? Well, I'm not looking to live there. It would be an investment. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean a cap rate on the rent. On the rent. Um, you know, like what, what kind of, like would it be a 10% or, you know, just wondering. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Okay. You know, generally the stuff I buy is, uh, um, I don't know, you know, more recently it was a single family home. The one in Lansdale was a single family. Okay. And uh, the one I just bought in Dublin also a single family. So I'm, I'm getting away from the multi. I'm gotcha. Kind of tired of being a landlord. Yeah, right, right. So. Uh, now, um, yeah. what was I going to say? I got one last question. How do you, how do you like to fund your deals? Do cash or a mortgage? No, I'm pretty sure it would be uh, through a mortgage. Um, I did cash for the Lansdale place, but uh, no, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably funded. Perfect. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Okay. I added you to my list. Oh, could I get your email? And I guess I'll shoot you something over if we find something. Sure. It's Joe Nappy at Verizon.net. You got it. Thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Yep. Take care. All right. Crushed it. Kicking butt, taking names. Forty-three minutes in. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Oh, hello? Hello. We are not available now. Please Bummer. leave your name. We are 151 dials in for the day. We've got eight pickups. Creeping on that 5% ratio. Hello? Hi. I'm looking for the homeowner on the property on Harding Street. Okay. Hello, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm uh, looking for the owner of 115 East 3rd Street. 
Um, I can help you. Wonderful. My name is Nicholas, and I invest in real estate in the area. And I was just following up with the postcard we sent to the property, wondering if you've maybe ever considered selling before? Um, no, we're not interested. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hello. You're not available now. Please. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. This is going to be our most dialing session ever. We are kicking butt when it comes to dials. Now, remember, this is all an average game. So if I'm knocking out a bunch of dials a day, not getting a bunch of results, tomorrow I'm going to get a bunch of results. You know, it's so important to know that. And then callbacks, right? So these people, they're probably calling this phone number back. I've called 175. Hello? Are you a billing person? I've called 175 people from this phone number. You know, it's important to know. Favorite noise, music to my ears. are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Thank you. 
you for your call. Hundred eighty seven dials. Roughly fifty five minutes in. Is available to take your call. Please leave a message in the tone. Man, not a lot going on today. This is like our weakest call day ever. Uh, at 194. Hello? Hello. We are not available now. I was now. excited. Please leave your name and phone number. Hello, hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the owner of 135, Eric Lane. Yeah, who's this? Hi, my name is Nicholas, and I actually invest in real estate in the neighborhood. And I was just following up to see if you'd ever considered selling your property before. No, 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 no. No? All right. Well, you know, if you, okay, if you want to hang up on me, you can go right ahead now. I was took another contact, so that's a great sign. We kept our 5% ratio almost the entire way through this list. Uh, we only have 15 dials left. We did find a buyer though, so that's definitely a win. Buyers in my book are just as important as sellers. We are not available now. Please leave your name and... Hello? 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 Hey there. I'm sorry to bother you. I may not have the right number. I'm looking for the owner of 1205 Oak Circle. Now my rule is if they hang up on me and I don't get my spiel out, they don't know why I'm calling, I make sure I call them back next time I call this list. If I say what I'm calling Hello? for. Hello, hi, I'm so sorry. I may have the wrong number. I'm looking for the owner of uh, 107 East 3rd Street. Uh, how can I help you? Hi, my well, name. I'm one of the. One of the many. My, na my name's Nicholas and I invest, uh, in, yeah. I, I invest in real estate in the area. And I was just following up with a postcard we sent to the property, wondering if you guys ever maybe considered selling before? 
no, not at this time, but thank you. You're very welcome. Hello? Hello. We are unable to answer right now. To send a fact, please start transmission. Hello. Please leave a message. All right. We got nine dials left, and we will be at 218 dials for this hour session. That is a lot. That is our record. That is our dialing record. And I gotta hair go get haircut after this. What? Going to Florida on Friday. Hello. We are not available now. Please call again. Thank you for your call. Got two callback messages playing. This is looking good. Hope they'll have two pickups. Bam, bam. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, my name is Nicholas, and I was calling looking for the owner of 731 Shaw Avenue. Yeah, we own that property, and um, my husband's a realtor. Okay. So we're not interested in selling it. We, it's very profitable. Yeah, no worries. Now, I will say we are looking for maybe realtors to work with in the area. Uh, is he familiar with working with investors? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can pass along your information. It's hard enough finding them for for ourselves. Yeah, honestly. Well, do you guys do you guys buy them buy them for yourself too? Uh, your own real estate investment company? No, we we uh, we invest in properties and and we have rentals. And yeah. you know, I I ask. You know, I ask because I actually make several hundred of these phone calls a day, and I come across a lot in your area. Uh, we got a mm -hmm. we got a couple under con mm -hmm. we got a couple under contract right now. So if you guys are buyers, I would love to maybe just take some zip codes, and when something matches up, we'll give you a call and see if it maybe interests you. Um, hold on a second. Sure. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Hello. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Hi. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. I was just talking to your wife. I was originally calling to see if you guys were ever considered selling, but she quickly told me that you guys actually are buyers and realtor yourself. So I, yeah. I let her yeah. know that. Yeah. Look, because I love connecting with buyers. To be honest with you, almost more than sellers, um, because then there's a real relationship that can start. Um, but you know, I make 500 of these phone calls a day to the area. And, uh, you know, if we come across something and you guys are looking to pick up a certain amount a year or a certain amount of quarter or something, we could definitely make sure that you get priorities in those areas. Yeah, I mean, I'm always looking, so. Uh, Great. Yep. Uh, so what, where, where are you located? I, I'm at a Baskin Ridge, New Jersey myself. Um, me and my, okay. me and my uh, business. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. Yeah, it, I think it's uh, it's it's in uh, it's in New Jersey. You know, I'm not, not really too sure. I just moved here a little bit ago with my business partner. He runs a small mom and pop shop with his mother-in-law, but you know, as he likes to say, we can't close all the deals. You know, so uh, so we always like to have people to just tee him up to. I was wondering, are there zip codes that you prefer to work in? Uh, 
Yeah, I can give you some zips. Okay, great. Uh, one nine four four six. Okay. Uh, one uh, one nine four two two. Okay. One nine zero oh, three eight. Okay. One nine four five four. All right. One nine zero oh, seven five. I love it. You're not picky. Keep going. I'm ready. Um. If you got more. Uh. Jeez. Zip. I. I mean, I have the areas that I'm always looking in. I, yeah. just, I don't remember all the zips. Yeah, do you got you got you got I, city I, names? I generally search my township. Sure, right. Yeah, you can um, you can give me some city names. I would say this: anything you come up with in Philadelphia County or Eastern Montgomery or Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, even Bucks County, and it's a good deal. You can give me a call. You know, certainly those area codes I gave you. Right. Are, uh, yeah. Well, good. That actually opens me up quite a bit. Uh, we do do a lot in Philadelphia County ourselves. Um, and we've got a couple properties under contract out there, really, even as we speak. Um, and so, what kind of, uh, how do you guys like to fund your deals? Are you cash or do you mortgage? I'm cash. Okay. Yeah, I'm cash. Love and it. I, 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 my, well, I, I flip some properties, but I'm I'm looking more to hold. Okay. More to rent. If you will tell me what so what kind of cap rate are you looking for? You mean my average price? Well, like like, uh, like the the cap rate on the rent. Capital. Yeah, I know. Like so. Like, oh, oh. Um, well, I, I look at it. Um, the way I look at it is return on cash. So what I do is I, I buy properties um, cash, then I refi them. So I, I generally, uh, you know, I get most of my money back out of them because it's got to be a good deal. Right. Um, so my return on cash is generally like 50% or um, I'm not saying I, I wouldn't do a deal for less, but um that's sort of how I look at it. It's got to be, it's got to be something that I can buy at a very good price, um, put money into it, still be, you know, well under market value after I repair it, I renovate it, and then rent it out, refi it, and then rent it out. Right. Okay. No, I get that. You know, I got a couple in Philadelphia. One's got a tree in it. And then other ones are shell, and we got them at real good prices. So I definitely, uh, I'm with you there. And there's actually a lot of that. Yeah, I'm not, Go ahead. I'm not, like, shells, I'm not as, you know, I'm not looking to pick stuff up for 12 grand. Like, I'm looking for more, like, all the cosmetic. And I don't, I, I want the foundation to be structurally sound. I don't want to have to do structural work to the property. Um, I certainly don't mind, you know, gutting it and putting in new stuff and, and new appliances, new heaters, things like that. But I don't want to get into uh, structural issues, okay. you know, trees growing, you know, roots growing through the foundation, things like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, cool. Any other information? And I know a lot of people buy that stuff. I, right. I just. I try and stay away from that. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, uh, looking at this, um, is there anything else you think I should know uh, before we go? Maybe maybe your email address? Yeah, my email address is Neil, N-E-I-L, okay. Soffer, S as in Sam, O, S, S, double F as in Frank, okay. E-R, at Comcast.net. Perfect. All right, great. So I'm going to save that. And we'll, we'll probably still text and stuff, but I just like to get the email in case it's more of an in-depth. Well, you know, let me give you my cell number. It's okay. uh, 215. This is my landline. Gotcha. Nobody ever picks this up. I can't even believe it. I can't it even believe it happened. Yeah, right. 215-242-1500. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, two one five seven three eight six two eight four. So you just you just or you have people that just call people all day? Is that? Yeah, you know what we do is we actually cold calls all day. All day, you know, and that's why I love running into people like you um, because. You know, we can we can really work together. You know, my buyers aren't interested in everything. Right. You know, everyone's got their particulars. You know, um, and yep. uh, you know, I always love to have more people out there uh, to feed. So, you know, I always say, uh, you know, a, a seller gets you paid, and a buyer can make you wealthy. <laughs> you know, so so let's uh, let's now how and last question: How many properties are you guys looking to do a year? Do you do you do it like that or? I would probably. Uh, up to maybe four a year, I okay. would say. Gotcha. And where? I mean, I'm not, you know, you know what? It, it maybe even more because my son wants to get involved. Um, so I, it depends. Yeah, gotcha. Well, don't worry. We won't stop sending deals. I'll promise you that if we ever get them. Um, yeah. I'm going to take a look over this stuff and I'll get some deals out to you by tomorrow if, uh, if they match up in the areas and the criteria. Um, now, I know you said Shell for um for 12 but we may be able to get you a shell for eight or nine too just so you know um so well, you know yeah, i i don't know it's depending on where it is sure and, you know I, I i don't know so are these properties that you're going to send me are they properties that absolutely are not listed anywhere else they're not auction properties they're not listed with realtors correct yeah what everything i send to you comes organically from these calls and every call goes the same so i call these people and i go hey do you own the property at so and so have you ever considered selling even if they say realtor i bail Right. You know, I, I'm not this middleman. So everything you're going to see, I'm going to have under contract. And, and it's not going to and we don't get things under contract from for we only get them from this method. Yeah. OK. You know, so right. I, every everything yeah. will be organic. There's not going to be any other hands in the pot. It's going to be us and you, basically, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Yeah. OK. All right. All right. Yep. Cool. Well, that good. Well, no. All right. Thanks. See you, Dale. Appreciate it. Yes, Thank sir. you. Bye-bye. Boom. And that's how you do it. Got a badass buyer at the end of the session. Crushed it. Two buyers, 212 calls. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.